Okay guys, well today's survival weapon, or whatever, it's gonna be a spear. It's like the most basic weapon that there is out there. You can catch you small game like squirrel, uh, fish, bird, you know, anything. You gotta be real good to hit a squirrel or bird though. I mean, I have, but it's real hard. So basically what you're gonna be getting with this spear right here is fish. So uh, let's get to work and uh, what we're first gonna need, it's gonna be a big old long straight stick. So let's get to work on that. Okay guys, well what you're gonna want is a stick, probably about, uh, I don't really know how big it is, but what you're gonna want is a real long stick like this right here. And uh, get out your knife and uh, start cutting it down. And I'll cut this one down and I'll get back to y'all, then I'll show y'all the next step. Okay, well, um, I got my stick. It's pro it should probably be about a foot taller than you. And then, um, if it's longer, you can cut it down to your expectations or whatever you want. The piece that you can cut off, you can use it as a dagger or a throwing stick or something. Like a throwing stick, it should be from your wrist to your shoulder. And then if it's that long, it'll make for a good throwing stick for like birds, squirrel and stuff. And uh, you might can make a dagger out of it, make it smaller. But, um, once we have the stick, what we're going to do is first off we're going to uh, carve the tip of it. So it's real sharp, so get your knife out and um, just carve it out until it's real sharp. And uh, you don't want to make it too slim because uh, if it hits something real hard, it might break it. So you want it to be just sharp. And uh, I'll get back to y'all once I sharpen it and I'll show y'all what the next step is. Okay guys, um, I've now sharpened the point so it's real sharp not too skinny so it won't break off and um now what we're going to do is uh about an inch down from the uh point we're going to cut some barbs in it so it won't come out if you stab a fish or a uh, hog or something uh yeah these things can be used for hogs deer whatever but um your best chances are for fish you know other stuff like that so now what we're going to do is carve some barbs in it um and then once i get that i'll come back to y'all on the next step but uh yeah so all you want to do is like carve some barbs into it and uh once you do that we'll get back to y'all on the next step okay uh forgot to tell y'all this first but uh, before y'all get the barbs in forgot to tell y'all this y'all need to uh slim the whole pole down uh you need to cut off the bark and slim it down so it's slimmer than the thickest spot on your point and you need to leave about a hand length of uh, thickness on there. And then other than that hand length, you want everything to be slimmer. So I'll get that and then I'll show you what to do because I accidentally forgot that. So yeah. Okay guys, now that y'all thinned the whole thing down except for about a hand length, um, what you want to do is like at the very end of that hand length, right there, you want to, uh, so there's a sticker right there. You want to just start kind of carving in like this right here. And uh, that's this right here is going to be your barbs. And the barbs going to keep the spear and the animal that you stab. And uh, so you can take a while. But uh, thinning it, all you want to do when you're thinning it is first cut up all the bark and get your knife. And just put it flat down like that. And scrape it up and down and up and down and up and down. And then make little pieces like that fall off and it'll just thin it down probably like the most tiring process of it but once it's done it'll make it all worthwhile slimming it down like that also takes off the bark which means that it can fly better and it like glides through the water a lot better and um it means like not any drag and everything else like that so uh once y'all get the barbs in that's basically your spear and uh, I'll get back to you whenever I finish my barbs. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, now that you have your barbs in, uh, kind of like that right there. Once y'all have those in, uh, I'm going to teach y'all how to throw it. Where you want to hold it at is in the spot where it feels the lightest, which would be about right here. And uh, it's normally towards the middle of the stick, maybe a little higher, maybe a little closer, depending. And if you can't seem to find it, you can basically just balance it on your fingers until it is perfectly balanced like that right there. And how you want to throw it 
You want to throw it with these two fingers. You want those to be on top, and you want your thumb to be on the bottom. And that's how you want to hold it when you release. So that's how you're supposed to hold it. Right then, right now, I'm going to give you the stance of um, how to like run and throw it, and uh, how far it'll throw, and what it'll go through. So here we go. Okay, so now that you have your uh, spear, hold it in the widest spot, like I said, with those three fingers. And um, whatever you're throwing at, you want to be slightly sideways to it. And then uh, whenever you get ready to throw, shuffle your feet. Like that, like that, a shuffle slides your feet. And uh, when you get ready for the release, curve your body back like that to give you more power. And when you throw, the last three fingers you want to be on is the uh, three fingers I told you about. Those are the last three fingers you want on the spear. So uh, I'm about to throw it, and here y'all go. Y'all go. Uh, anyways, that's how you throw it. And now, just so that y'all know that my spear works, I'm about to go and stab a fish with it. Like most people don't, they just make the spear. And I'm about to go stab a fish with it just to prove to y'all that it really does work. So, um, I'll be back with y'all after I stab me a spear. So, I'm not a spear, I mean a fish. But um, anyways, I'll be back as soon as I stab one and I'll show y'all that it really does work. Look at that right there. Look at that. Look at that right there. Well, what you see right there is a uh, crappy that I just speared with my spear that I just showed y'all how to make. And uh, the barbs, they're keeping them on here pretty good because I can't hardly get them off. Uh, here we go. Right here. Uh, look at that right there. Look at that old crappy. She speared him, son. <laughs> well, uh, there you go. That's proof right there that um, a crappy can be speared by a spear and just about any other fish you want to. So there's proof right there, son. <laughs> Woo! Uh, see, nobody else on YouTube does that. Look at all that blood that's on there. There you go. Right there. Crappy. Woo!